Hello everybody, welcome to GearWire.com and we are going to take a look today at the synthesis capabilities of Audio Mulch. What we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, semi-structured exercise where we are going to grab some Audio Mulch contraptions and we are going to manipulate them in real time to produce a synthesis result and explain what's going on and why. So first thing we're going to do when I open up a uh, new Audio Mulch um, document, one of the very first things I like to do when I'm in a uh, quasi-random situation such as we are now is I like to uh, look around for uh, things that uh, are by default um, set in the program and reset them, uh, change them. One of the most common things is uh, users of software will know, uh, users of music software will recognize is the 120 BPM um, tempo figure. We're going to change that just to something else. We're just going to say 150 for giggles. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab some signal generating um, contraptions. The signal generators that we can choose from in Audio Mulch are the 10 harmonics, the arpeggiator, the bass line, the bubble blower, drums, file player, loop player, recit tones, and test generating uh, contraption. Let's start with something very simple and get the test contraption going here. We double click that and we can see its, uh, its control surface here. Um, since what we are going to be doing is making composite sounds, we're going to want a mixer. So somewhere between the test generating um, contraption and the sound card, we're going to want to be able to have a mixing device uh, to handle the uh, other contraptions that we're going to be feeding into the sound card. So let's do a new mixer. And let's make this a mono 8-channel uh, mixer. And there it is. Double click it and give it its, uh, you can see its uh, uh, control surface here. Another thing I like to do right away is I like to name things. And we'll do the same thing for test gen. We'll bring up the main fader on the mono mixer and bring up, actually we'll do the connection first. Also we'll dual mono out the mono mixer output into the sound out. Bring up the volume on the contraption. And here we have A. That is to say the pitch of 440 hertz. And we could of course change this manually. We can go up to 800 hertz, etc. But we could just type in 440, that's fine. We can also select noise, and you will notice that this uh, parameter doesn't actually change anything under noise. Basically, that's because this switch turns this test uh, generation uh, contraption into a noise generator and uh, not a tone generator. So what are we going to do with this? Well, uh, let's take a look at some options about how we can route the uh, test signal uh, into the mixer and what we may be able to process it with. 